Hey, I'm Sarah. Welcome to AI Spark, where we unlock the power of AI. Let's get started. Today, we're diving into the exciting process of using old photos to bring history to life and create animations like these. I'll walk you through each step, so even if you're brand new to this, you'll be able to follow along easily. In just five simple steps, you'll have a short video ready to share. Step one. First, we need to find some old photos to use in our video. I started by searching for public domain photos on Google. A photo that is in the public domain is free to use legally by anyone. There are many places to find old photos. One great resource is Pickerel, a public domain search and similarity engine where you can browse millions of free-to-use files from hundreds of sources all in one place. You can look through the collections or popular topics or popular places. There is so much to choose from. However, I decided to find my images through the Library of Congress. If you scroll down on the page, you will see this. Free to use and reuse. Click to browse more content that is free to use and reuse. Here, you'll find sample collections on different themes. If you want to see more, you can click this link. While browsing, I found the Presidential Portraits collection and thought it would be interesting to create a video featuring a few former American presidents. I'll start with Abraham Lincoln. When you click onto the page, you can read all information about the image, like who's the photographer and when it was taken, for example. Make sure to save any information you might need later when putting the final video together. To download the image, click below the image and select the preferred size. I recommend choosing the largest JPEG file available. Click on Go, and the image will open in a new tab. Right-click on the image and save it to your computer. Continue to save all the images that you want for your final video. Awesome! Now that we have our images, we're ready to move on to the next step. Step 2. Now, we are going to colorize the photos. If you prefer to keep your black and white photos as they are, feel free to skip this step and move straight to step 3. There are many tools available for colorizing photos. Most allow you to try a few images for free, though some add watermarks or limit the final image size. The end result seems to vary also, but I found a place called Colorize where you get 50 free credits per month, which I guess means 50 free colorized images. Surprisingly, I haven't even had to log in, and I haven't noticed any limitations yet. Click on Start New Colorizer. Then click on Add Black and White Image and upload your first photo. You can choose between default colorization and customized colorization. I recommend customized colorization since, in my tests, the default colorization produced strange, unrealistic colors. You can also choose to add Face Restore, Upscale 200%, and Scratches. Experiment to see what works best for your images. I'll add scratches for this example. If you want specific colors in the image, like a certain shirt or background color, or want to remove unwanted elements, like grain, you can enter a positive or negative prompt. Then click on Upload and Start, and wait about 30 seconds for the image to process. You can preview the result. I think it looks quite good. Click to download the image to your computer. Then click on the little trash can icon to start with your next image. Continue to upload and colorize all the images. If any of the images don't turn out as expected, you can always redo them for a better result. I also tested another site, also called Colorize, which produced extremely high quality results in my limited testing. The downside is that you only get three images for free and they are watermarked. However, the results were so impressive that I wanted to share it with you. Click on Select File and choose a photo to upload. 
I didn't change any settings, I just used the default options. Click on Generate, and wait maybe a minute for the image to process. Looks good. Click on Download, and the image opens up in a new tab. It looks fantastic. Right-click on the image and save it to your computer. There are big watermarks all over the image, but I will show you how to remove them. I continued and generated two more images. To get rid of the watermarks, we'll use dewatermark, which lets you remove watermarks from three images per day for free. Click to upload one of the watermarked images. It only takes a few seconds to process. Download the image to your computer and continue removing the rest of the watermarks on the other images. Now, let's compare the three images we colorized using the two different sites. I think the top row looks more realistic and natural. Even though it requires an extra step to remove the watermark, I think it's definitely worth it. Now, we're ready to move on to the next step. Step 3. Now it's time to bring our images to life using an AI video generator. There are many options available, and most work in similar ways, so just pick the one you like best. We'll start with Haluo AI, where you can generate three videos for free, every day. Click on Create Video. Then click to upload one of the images from the previous step. After that, you want to describe what you want to happen in the image. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. For example, simple descriptions like, the person looks at the camera and smiles, or the person looks around and smiles are often enough. You can also choose a camera movement by clicking this little icon. There are several preset options, but you can also write your own camera description if you like. I'll go with static shot since I want the camera to stay still. After that, you click to generate the animation. It will take a while, but you can continue with the other images while you wait. I'll also show you how to do this using Kling AI, another one of my favorite AI generators. They give you 166 free credits every month. Click on Video. Make sure you are on the Image to Video page. Then upload one of your images. Describe what you want to animate. And if you want, specify a camera movement. Choose whether you want a 5 or 10 second video, and then click Generate. If you are on the free plan, you'll need to wait for your animation to finish before generating another one. But if you're on a paid plan, you can continue with the next image right away. Step 4. Here are the results of all the animations. I think they turned out pretty well. If any didn't come out as expected, you can always try regenerating them with a different prompt to see if you get an even better result. Now, let's find the perfect background music for our video. There are plenty of places to find music, but always check the license before downloading to ensure you're allowed to use it as needed. I went to Pixabay and clicked on music and searched for background music. Under genre, I selected modern classical. Let's listen. Take your time and pick a track that best fits the mood of your video. I think I'll go with this one. 
If we open it in a new tab, we can clearly see that it's free for use under the Pixabay content license. Now, I'll download it to my computer. So now that we have all the animations and the background music, we're finally ready for the last step where we put it all together in a video editing software. I personally use the free CapCut version, but feel free to use whatever software you prefer. Step 5. Now I'm going to show you how we can put the animated clips together using CapCut. First, we need to set the aspect ratio for our video. Click on Modify. If you're creating content for TikTok or YouTube Shorts, you'll want to select the 9 by 16 ratio. Since that's what we're working on today, we'll go with 9 by 16. Start by importing all your animations and music. Select the black and white photo, the colorized photo, and the animation of the first president. Click the plus sign to place all three clips on the timeline. Now, while all three clips are still selected, scale up the size to remove the frame and fill the entire window. Let's check how it looks. It looks good, but I think a transition between the clips would make it even better. Place your cursor between the black and white photo and the colorized photo. Go to Transitions and look for Distortion. Click the plus sign to add it. Now place the cursor between the colorized photo and the animation. Add the flash transition to the timeline. Now we need to add some text so people know what they are looking at. Go to Text. Click on Default Text. Change the text to whatever you want it to say. Move the text down to the bottom. You can change the look of the text in different ways. Under Preset Style, you can quickly try different text styles and colors. I will choose this one. I will add an animation to the text. Go to Animation and In. You have many options here, but I will choose Zoom In. Increase the length of the text on the timeline so it starts just after the first photo and ends just before the animation ends. Let's see how it looks so far. I think it looks great, but I want to add a fade in at the start. Click on the first clip on the timeline, go to Animation and In, and choose Fade In. Now, click on the last clip on the timeline and go to Animation and Out, and choose Fade Out. Now continue adding the rest of your photos and animations. And don't forget to include text for each one. We're almost done. Now it's time for the final touch. Music. Place your cursor at the beginning of the timeline. And add the music by clicking the plus sign on it. If the music is longer than the video, shorten it so it ends when the animations stop. You can add a fade in or fade out to the music for a smoother transition. 
and then we are done with our video. Simple, right? Let's check out the final result. That's it! That wasn't so tricky after all. You've now mastered the process of bringing old photos to life, and it's your turn to make something amazing. I'd love to see what you come up with. Drop a link in the comments and share your masterpiece. And remember, even a single image and animation can transform into something amazing. So dive in and start creating. You've got this. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future tips, tools, and tutorials. And remember, all it takes is one spark to change everything. See you in the next video.